Hey guys, Orlando once again for the guy blog and I'm doing a series of videos on NXT. I've decided to get out from under the rock I've been in and check out NXT. I mean, I have the WWE Network and I got it mainly for the pay-per-views, but I really should have been checking them out. The last week or so, I've watched a lot of videos and have caught myself up a little bit on what's going on down there. I've seen a little bit before, but you know, I didn't know if it would be worth it. They came on Raw this week, and we saw Adrian Neville, and we saw a couple of them. Sami Zayn, Tyson Kidd is back, and Tyler Breeze. Well, I'll talk about them later. This video is actually about the NXT Divas Division. Now, what is there to say about the Divas Division? Well, everybody loves them. The most beautiful women in all of wrestling, blah, 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 on Raw, SmackDown, and all that good stuff. But when you go down to NXT, you actually get to see something that we don't get to see in the major leagues of wrestling as far as in the WWE Universe is concerned we get to see some high quality wrestling we see sports entertainers you see when we see the Bella Twins when we see basically Paige not so much she's in like next year um, and definitely not AJ Lee but from most of the division and most of the things that AJ Lee has actually called out her own division on you see these sports entertainers that aren't much about the sport of wrestling but are much more about the entertainment. Their matches turn to, tend to turn into these screaming matches where every move is a crazy yell, every hit is a, another crazy yell and it's scream after scream after scream and it annoys everybody and in most of the live events I'm willing to bet that that's probably the bathroom break match. Because as soon as these divas come out, unless it's AJ Lee, usually you're guaranteed a somewhat, at best, semi-competitive match. But usually a pretty guaranteed poor fest. It's not their fault, if only because the level of divas, as far as wrestling, hasn't gone up. Now, NXT looks like it's going to change that. When you watch NXT, you see a lot of good talent that knows how to mix up that sports and entertainment quality-wise. You see these girls that can actually wrestle. And I'm just saying girls as in guys and girls, not as in their girls. Um, what I mean with that is they know how to wrestle. They know how to promo. They are learning all of it, but they put on entertaining matches. I saw the match, um, Charlotte versus Bailey. Wow, hardly a scream in it. But you know what I did see? A bunch of innovative moves, non-stop action. It was absolutely awesome. By having these, these ladies come up into Raw and SmackDown, nothing but good things will come of it. Vince McMahon needs to pay attention to this. Triple H is doing right by NXT. Seeing somebody like Lana Del Rey, Lana Del Rey, like Lana with Rusev, um, come up and you know, automatically makes an impact. doesn't have to do just with Rusev. It has to do with her coming up and being a manager, showing that entertainment side and how refined she is. Seeing somebody like Paige come up and get the title right away, but more importantly, show some innovative moves, show that she ha she's more than, you know, just there as eye candy, that she can fight, that she puts herself now. She's a little bit of a screamer, but she fights. She does good fights. Then you see somebody that's more old school. You see a Natalia and a Alicia Fox. They are good wrestlers. However, somehow along this road, they've never learned how to truly be entertainers. Meanwhile, you see somebody like AJ Lee. And right now, the WWE only has AJ Lee as that complete package. You go down to NXT, you see Charlotte, you see Bailey, you see, well, Paige and, and Lana came from there. But you're going to see a bunch of other talent that they have that are not afraid to be in front of the camera, do not look stiff, that know how to wrestle, that are coming up with new moves, and it makes it exciting, exciting matches, and that's what they need for this division and for the product overall, because to make WWE relevant, to make WWE number one again, and I mean number one as in it's going against itself and it needs to be better than what it was, they need for even their weakest points to become strengths. And the Divas Division is a weakness for the WWE that needs to be strength strengthened. 
that whole Total Diva show is great publicity wise but for us hardcore fans that like to see the wrestlings that like the storylines that like for it to be sports entertainment we need more than just that entertainment we need more than them just coming out in sexy outfits doing two moves somebody does a special and we're done eight eight ten six diva matches where half of them don't even get to wrestle no it needs to be improved and it's showing that nxt is going to be a big push in that direction so if you don't have the network you should get it just like triple e says for only 9.99 um if for anything at least for the pay-per-views it's totally worth it it's made me catch up on all my wrestling top of that you'll get this nxt division which is crazy it is really good you guys will enjoy it. characters are being developed there that are really fun i can't wait for some of them to come up and i'll talk a little bit about the guys on another video but let me know what you think in the comment section you can tweet me you can email me at orlando well at the guy blog email me orlando at the guy blog.com tweet me anything instagram i will respond to everything let me know what you think about this vid guys and see you soon thanks